In this video we're going to use Cisco Packet Tracer to observe some packets traveling across the network. Uh, we're going to use ping and trace route to verify connectivity and check the path from our source to our destination. So you can see here we already have our little tiny uh, network set up. <coughs> We've got our, this is going to be our source uh, PC. This is our network connection. It's a there's five routers in here. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. And here's our destination PC. We already have the PCs configured with their IP addresses and everything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ping uh, across the network. So we click the first one, go to the desktop so we can get to the command prompt here. And then just type in ping and then the address of the destination PC, which was point three point two I believe and you can see this is taking a little bit of time actually here so the first request is timed out uh, the next ones went through so you can see it sent four packets but it only received three so uh, you can actually check it again we can do the exact same command and there you can see we're getting all four packets. Uh, so all all ping does is tell us that yes I sent packets from my source to my destination and I got them back. Everything was fine. But you can use uh, another command called trace route which to type it in is just trace RT and then use the same IP address like as if you are pinging And what Traceroute does is not only does it check the connectivity, but it gives you the exact path that the packet took to get from the source to the destination. So you can see here the list of IP addresses that it used. These are the routers that it went through, and these are called hops. Every time you uh, send or receive information across the internet, no matter where you are and where the information is you're sending to or coming from, every time that information passes through a router that's called a hop and the cool thing about uh, like if ping is having trouble say there's no connectivity it'll just keep telling you you know I sent information but I didn't get any back but it, that's it it doesn't tell you what the problem is whatever but trace route will actually tell you oh, I went here but this router was down so I jumped around and went to another router and we'll take a look at that here in a second so we need to use our simulation tab right here uh, edit our filters we just want ICMP checked and then let's open up this so you can see our five routers here and this is our path from our source and then this is going to our destination so oh, we need to go back We need to sit, send some information across here. So we're going to send a packet from, that's our source, and this is our destination. So here's our little ping packet. Uh, open our routers so you can see the packet's coming in from this direction. And it's going to hit this first router and then find its way to its destination. So we just hit play here. Packet comes in, hits the first router. Uh, if you don't like the speed of Cisco Packet Tracer, this is a slider bar. If you slide it to the right, it speeds up. Slide it to the left if you want to slow it down. You can slow it down and see uh, what's going on. So there you can see it went to its uh, source. And now it's coming back. And the event list, you can see what routers it's using. It's actually giving you a list. These, this is how I'm getting there. Ping doesn't tell you that. It just tells you, I sent the information, I got it back. This is how many packets I sent. This is how many I got back. And this is how long it took. But Traceroute is actually showing us. It's using routers 0, 1, and 2. So you can see here 0, this is 1, this is 2. So that would be three hops. You sent it from the source. It went through one, two, three routers, and then made it to its destination. 
So the cool thing about this is say there was a problem with router 2, it's, you know, the power's off or it's broken or something. As the information came here, it would come to router 2 and go, oh, I can't go that way. So it would go back, and then it would use router 3, then router 4, then go to router 1, and then move on to its destination. And that's all the internet is. It's just a huge connection of uh, networks, which are routers. Without routers, there is no internet. Uh, it's very cool. This is a very cool program, Cisco Packet Tracer. If you're interested in networks, I highly recommend you uh, download it and play around with it. Uh, this has been a, just a short video on how to observe packets traveling across the network.